Everyone really wants this feature in fighting games. A couple of years ago, Guilty Gear Accent Core added Replay Takeover, which is a method of stopping a played match and immediately taking it over. And now, both Undernight Inbirth 2, I'm not going to say the whole thing this time, and apparently Tekken 8 also both have this feature. So this is the first time I've gotten to use such a feature. I think it's really, really cool, and I'm still pretty surprised not that many people are talking about it. So in this video, we're going to talk about what exactly it is, where is it, how do you set it up, what it's good for, and what it's not good for. Replay Takeover is basically a function of watching a replay, and you stop the replay to recreate the situation. So since replays are pretty much repeating the inputs of the two players, to my understanding at least, it just lets the opponent do the inputs anyway while you take control. You can kind of look at it as using your replay as like a recording dummy in training mode, except you didn't have to record anything. The opponent technically did it for you. And replays are pretty powerful. You can freeze the game, you can watch in slow motion, go and fast forward, and even look at the opponent's input history. Looking at the opponent's inputs help you with not only seeing what the opponent is doing, especially if it's a game where the opponent can't do any like passive defensive options in block stun. But for content purposes, fighting game YouTubers love checking inputs in case people are cheating. That's very cool. So Undernight and Tekken 8 and also Guilty Gear Axe and Core plus R go an extra step. And while you're watching the replay, you can pause. And by the way, of course, I'm using Undernight in Birth 2 for this. Partly because the game is new, partly because I actually have gotten some time to play you know I haven't gotten to play Tekken 8 yet and you have this nice little function right here called initiate replay assist this is what you're looking for now if you just do this at least in undernight it'll set up here and now I'm able to just play and the CPU will just be kind of doing its thing so just swapping in is not so useful because now you see it kind of just like the computer is just doing like random stuff so you do have to go to generally where you're looking for what type of situation you're looking for so, you know, here, for example, I'm doing my combo, doing what I got to do. And that's why they were walking away so much because they're blocking and getting hit. They can't really do anything during this time because honestly, I'm kind of cooking. So what we're looking for are more defensive situations. So what we're looking for are situations where either you don't know what to do or a defense situation, anything like that. So using this same round, a really good spot would be starting right here. I start blocking quite a bit. I don't really know what to do about this situation. So let's try the replay assist. The first time I kind of screwed up, you do have to kind of time when you start the replay assist. And unfortunately, I don't know about Tekken or ACR, but at least in Undernight Inbirth, it's kind of like Guilty Gear and other normal fighting game replays where you can't rewind. So this time let's start the replay assist a little bit earlier. Here I'm in the right spot. He does this fireball, I don't really know what to do. Here we can kind of experiment with options starting from the Petra sequence. This time my shield try to escape, still get hit. This time I can use my anti-air here. Pretty cool, right? Right now, to my knowledge, only three fighting games total have this. Guilty Gear Axe Corpus R, Unknight in Birth 2, and Tekken 8. So what is this feature actually good for? So the first and most obvious one was the one I just tried out, right? Was there a better answer for a situation you got put in? If you're a longtime player of a certain game, like Undernight in Birth 2 and Tekken 8 both came out, right? Those are both kind of legacy games. So this is pretty helpful for learning how to fight new characters and experimenting against them. Rather than just kind of making stuff up in training mode, you can just use your replays against a new character to kind of figure out the situations that keep repeating, right? But also if you're a new player, you can use it to figure out situations in general that you feel like you're running into a lot. Another obvious one is could you have just done a better combo or gone for more damage, but these two are kind of together. It's also a useful tool for helping practicing against high execution characters or more technical characters, like your puppet characters, for example. So one complaint I've always heard and a question I've always got a lot is how do you practice against characters like Happy Chaos or Zato or something? And my answer is always like, well, you gotta recreate it, I guess. I actually think Guilty or Strive has a function where somebody can like make a training mode recording for you and like send it to you but I don't think it's commonly known or used. So being able to do this from a replay instead, from someone you played against, would make this way, way easier. This is a little bit of an aside. I think this could potentially be an amazing function for 
team games, I guess people say like hyper hyper fighters or something, right? People tend to use unique teams. So in a 1v1, it's like, oh, I'm going to boot up the replay against rare character or technical character. But let's take like Dragon Ball Fighters, for example. You can pick your characters and assists, kind of like Marvel, right? So people will have unique combinations of not just characters, but also assists. So it would make it much easier to replicate situations and how they would use things if you could just use replay takeover. So you can see kind of how the potential is really high for this. And last but not least, it's just like a huge time saver. So you can be really specific and focused about the situations you want to practice against. And since you don't have to actually recreate the inputs, or if you're not good at using training mode to replicate situations like that, then you'll find this feature very, very helpful. But next we must talk about what it is not good for. So basically, if you're using this exclusively, I've definitely heard some people be like, I don't like recreating stuff in training mode. I can just figure the thing out using replay takeover. And that's fine. I think you need to make sure you have like a good mindset around this. And this is just a tool to help your practice. So it's not like a magic feature that just solves all your problems. You can kind of look at replay takeover like what I said at the beginning of the video. Since the replay is a recording of your opponent's inputs, it's kind of like your opponent is your training dummy. So if you only use this to figure stuff out, then you're missing out on time experimenting with your own character, figuring out stuff about the game in general, and pushing the limits of your character. Basically, I think this tool is super, super helpful. And especially if you're the type, because I hear this all the time with people being like, I learn only by playing. There's a ton of people actually that I know like that. I'm kind of like a 60-40, mm, like, a like I, I practice in training a lot, but then I also play the game a lot too because you got to try your stuff in real matches and see how effective the tactics are on people. And I'm really hoping more fighting games add this to their games. When this came out in ACR, a ton of people were like, yo, every game needs this. But I don't know why, I just felt like people stopped talking about it for a while. So now that a couple of new fighting games have it, I wanted to just make a quick video about it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. Uh, YouTube likes it. We watch other videos. Got some cool stuff coming for y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.